so let's see problems based on direct and inverse so when they're together or direct is two times inverse two times or one is direct and inverse combine how to solve when the three factors so three factors are given how to solve means three type for example i'll type the question here so you understand what type of question it is so if the wages so let me write the question and explain it then how to solve such type of problems if the wages of fifteen labors for six days or rupees eight thousand one hundred. So if you observe here wages, laborers and uh, amount, laborers for number of days. So wages, days and amount is given. And find if it is uh, condition is true, then find the wages of 21 laborer, laborers. Okay, for five days. So this is the problem now. Here there are three factors if you observe clearly. So total three are there. Here labor, wages and working days. So days are given and labor charges number of members and amount 15 labors 15 labor 6 days 8100 they are earning then 21 labor for 5 days how much amount they will get so this type of problems how to solve very easy in shortcut trick I'll explain you first of all we have more what you need to find out find the wages that means amount you have to find out So amount we need to find out. Now amount to two other two you can see the relation. Now more labor means more wages. So more amount will get. Okay, come relation between amount to labor. This is direct variation. Because more more labor means more amount. Okay. Next to amount to two days. So number of working days and the more wages. So if the more days is the work and more amount also will get it. This also direct variation only. Amount to labor. More amount, so more labor. So means more labor are there, more amount will they get. And more days if they work, they'll get the more amount. So this both are uh, direct and direct. Now see the solving problem. What they're asking should be right in the middle. Amount. Labor and days. First statement is 15 labor. 15 laborer for 6 days. They are earning 8100. Now 21 labor. For 5 days. Okay. Amount is X. Which you don't know that you take X. Now, important thing is here. After making statement like this, now labor and amount is a direct. What I said direct means we need to do cross multiply. So whenever it's direct, you just keep cross symbol. Remember that. Again, amount to days between these two also. Again, cross because these two also direct variation. Then keep the symbol like this. Now, according to the line, we can take just value multiply. So observe here, 15 to x and x to 6. So 15 into, that line is coming, 15 to x and x to 16. So 15 into x into 6. Okay, you can write like this. Then that is equals, remaining is 21 into 8100 into 5. So other line is like this, down. 
ट्वेंटी वन टू एट थाउजेंड हंड्रेड टू फाइव इज इक्वल टू देन जस्ट सिंप्लीफाई दिस एक्स इज इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी वन इंटू एट थाउजेंड वन हंड्रेड इंटू फाइव डिवाइड बाई दीज टू कैन रेसिप रोका दैट इज फिफ्टीन इंटू सिक्स फिफ्टीन इंटू सिक्स इज न्यूमिनेटर दिस बी डिनोमिनेटर साइड यू ट्राई टू सिंप्लीफाई यू गेट द सोल्यूशन डायरेक्टली हाउ मच अमाउंट Five ones are five three, and three ones are three seven. We can simplify. Then three table, three two is a six, three two is a six seven is a twenty one zero zero. Again two ones are one three is a six ten five zero. So that is seven into thirteen fifty. You just multiply. Nine, right? So nine thousand four hundred and fifty. So directly can multiply. You must know this step first of all clearly. How to make? So what they are asking for that other two relations you can check it. Amount to labor, amount to days, which is direct or inverse. So I'll show you one more question. When the combination is there, you should understand very clearly. So let me write the question. So see the problem. If 18 binders, okay. If 18 bind 900 books in 10 days. So binders, books, and days. Is a three uh, factors here now. Then I got a question: How many so binders will be required to bind six sixty books in twelve uh, days? In a twelve days. Okay, now this is the problem. So let us see how to uh, simplify. Means 18 binders, 900 books, 10 days. So here binders, books, and days are the three factors. So how many binders? So binders you need to find out. So according to binders, you see other terms relation. So binders means more binders, they'll get more books, right? So binders to books relation is Direct, because more binders are there, they can do more books. And same, more binders if they are there, then they can do in less days only. So binders to days is inverse. Okay, if the more binders are there, they'll do work in less. This is a uh, number of days will be reduced. So that is inverse. Now you can make the statement like this. First, we should write the three terms. Means three factors. Binders must be in the center. You can take and books and here days. Now, if you write the statement, binders is first statement is eighteen binders. So there are eighteen binders, nine hundred books in ten days. Okay. Now count the problem. How many binders we required? So it is x to bind 660 books. Under books only, you should write 660 number and 12 days. That's it. After making according to direct or inverse, you can take the line. So what I said, direct means cross. So binders to books. First, these are direct. So you need to keep cross line. Next, binders to days is inverse. So you should keep straight line. Okay, that's the important thing. Inverse means keep straight line between them. That means cross line you keep. Now you count the line. You can take x value. Now 900 to x and x to 12. So what you can write 900 into x into 12 because the line. Count the line. How it is passing. So that is important. 900 to x and x to 12. So 900 into x into 
then other three are 660 into 18 into 10 that's it now if you simplify you'll get the problem answer easily how many binders that is x value you need to find out so 660 into 18 into 10 divided by 900 into 12 so these two if you take right side so try to simplify these calculations you cut cancel 0 0 and 10 ones are 10 nines up again 9 ones are 9 2 ones are again 2 ones are 2 6 are. simple calculations again 6 ones are 6 11 is 66 so 11 so num required number of binders is equal to 11 that's it therefore number of required binders is equals to 11 so simple right so only important thing is direct or inverse you need to identify and account that you should take the first line statement clearly then you can find out the problem easily and one only if the both are inverse also how to solve so one question i'll tell you when is okay i'll write you can identify the which type of question it is say direct or inverse okay let me take the question <coughs> So 24 laborer working 6 hours a day, 24 laborer working 6 hours a day can finish the work in 14 days. Okay, that work they will finish in 14 days. So, 24 members, 6 hours if they work in a day, they will finish the work in 14 days. Okay, now, if each labor works 7 hours a day, if each one, each laborer, that means each one works 7 hours a day, then find the number of labor to finish the same piece of work in 8 days. Then find the number of labor. Find the number of labor to finish So same work same work in 8 days so let's see it's a direct or inverse and what it is so labor we need to find out how many number of labors so that should be take center now for labor to other two factors you need to compare now if more labor less working hours per day they'll take number of hours per day they'll take less only so if the more labor less working hours like less working hours per day they'll take so it's a inverse and more labor means less days this is number of hours number of hours per day and same labor to days also will be same inverse okay if it's a more labor they'll take less days then if you compare these terms so what you need to take labor and number of hours per day per day and number of days this side so first one is 24 labor 24 members working 6 hours per day they'll finish in 14 days then now each one works 7 hours a day that means only if it is 7 x find the number of labor the same work in 8 days so 8 days how many a labor we need to require only 7 hours per day so it's both are inverse if you observe this so both are inverse means direct means you need to do cross line 
inverse means you have to keep the straight line so first condition also is inverse second also is inverse only that's it now according to the line you can take first x term 7 to x and x to 8 so 7 into x into 8 now to have 6 to 24 24 to 14 so 6 into 24 into 14 now try to simplify this x is equal to 6 into 24 into 14 divided by 7 into 8 just sim after simplifying you will get the just calculations only that is 7 ones are 7 twos are 14 again 8 ones are 8 threes are. so remaining values you can just multiply 6 threes are 18 18 twos are 36 that's it so required number of laborers is uh, 36 so only the thing is whether inverse or direct is the main important your labor and number of hours per day is inverse and labor and days also is inverse condition so account that we are taken so finally we got 36 therefore number of laborers required is equal to 36 that is for 8 days to work and 7 hours per day so when the combinations are problems are like this so we can solve in easy way by just making the conditions according to this and similar problems i'll explain you in this website link i am providing so in description also you can see so in that if you click on that link and subject wise you'll find out the material for freely and subscribe to the channel because you'll upload only the videos which are related to the children and in links i'm providing description below so you can to your class wise and other material also you can search